Hi there, this is Ben and I'm here to talk about the upcoming Super 6 fight between Andre Durrell and Karl Frotch. Now, I've got to say, I've been thinking about this one over and over again, how the what the outcome could be and it's extremely difficult to come up with an answer but I see the fight going something like this. I think Durrell is going to come out and much like Jermaine Taylor did in uh, Karl Froch's last fight, I think Durrell is going to build up an early points lead. Um, he's going to box Froch try and move around him, avoid those straight right hands and uh, big uppercuts that Frotch has got. Um, it, in fact, I hadn't actually seen any of Durrell's fights before uh, the tournament was announced, but since then I've uh, downloaded quite a few of them and I've uh, got to say I am very impressed. Um, if you haven't seen Durrell yet, check him out. There's probably some footage on YouTube. He has unbelievable hand speed, uh, he has great uh, footwork, he's an all-round tremendous athlete. He launches, when he sees his opponent is in trouble, he launches unbelievably fast combinations of hooks and uh, in particular straight right hands, left hands. Uh, he's got the whole arsenal. He's also a switch hitter, so he can fight either orthodox or southpaw. Um, it's interesting because you look at other switch hitters in the sport and they, long term they don't always have the greatest success like Junior Witter for example. Um, remains to be seen if Durrell will uh, have long term success but at the moment um, he looks fantastic. I mean I saw his last fight uh, which was against uh, Derek Findlay, I downloaded that fight. Uh, he couldn't actually floor the guy, <coughs> but he, this guy had a very uh, Finley had a very good chin. But um, I was extremely impressed with his hand speed. It's obvious he's going to give Froch a lot of problems in that manner. And um, the I'm also impressed actually with his defense. Although it doesn't look like he he's very loose in the ring. He doesn't have his hands up particularly high. But he's got a he's actually got a pretty good defense. When he's being attacked with hooks, he tends to bend down and move from left to right, left to right, uh, and to avoid the shots. Because he's so confident in his athletic ability and his ability to uh, evade the punches, um, he just continues with this relaxed uh, attitude. Quite a lot like uh, Frutch himself. Frutch is very uh, relax and loosen the ring. Um, what would worry me about Durrell in this fight is that we haven't seen him in with uh, anyone like Karl Froch before. He hasn't. This is the toughest fight he's had in terms of <coughs> quality of opposition. We don't know how he's going to respond to going uh, the distance. Uh, I'm not saying he can't. He could very well uh, do that. He could very well go the distance and get a points win. But we, it's uh, just something we don't know yet, it's, which is why I find this fight so difficult to predict. If we look at Frutch, uh, talk about uh, the good points about Frutch, um, he punches extremely hard, he has a magnificently strong chin, um, he's only been floored once, that was in his last fight against Taylor. Um, what I found interesting about, if you watch the round in which Taylor floored him, the third round, uh, just before he gets floored, he gets hit with two counter right hands by Taylor, which stop him in his tracks. Um, I'm thinking Durrell is quite capable of doing that as well. When Frutch um, goes for a big right hand, a big a right hook, for instance, um, I can see Durrell with his kind of speed, he's probably faster than even Taylor, he could counter Frotch. Uh, whether he has the power to floor him, we, we don't know yet. That remains to be seen. He clearly does have some power. But whether it will be enough to stop a monster like Frotch, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, downsides to Frotch is he leaves himself remarkably open, as we know. 
he uh, <clears throat> he keeps his left hand very low uh, because he's like Durrell, he's so confident in his ability to evade punches and probably to take a punch um, with reason because we've seen how good his chin is. Um, all in all, I'm split between Durrell winning on points. Uh, or Froch winning by knockout uh, in the late rounds, <coughs> somewhere between 8 and 12. Um, I'm going to stick my neck on the line and say Froch is going to win by knockout, uh, simply because I believe in his punching power, and I just don't have the evidence yet that Durrell can go 12 rounds with someone who punches like this. Uh, not to say that he can't, like I said before, maybe he will. Um, but at the moment, I think the safe bet is to go with Frutch. Uh, although it's going to be a very exciting fight, because uh, whether Durrell wants it or not, Frutch is going to try and make this a war, just like he did with Pascal, and uh, just like he did in the later round with Jermaine Taylor. Um, but anyway, uh, leave me your comments, let me know what you think is going to happen in this fight, I'll be interested to see. I think uh, a lot of people are also divided at the moment. Um, and it'll, well, I just can't wait for the fight, it's coming up in just over a week. Latest.